Hello Avid Royal Watchers and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's future in Los Angeles couldn't be more different from their previous life as members of the British royal family. So what will the royal couple and their one-year-old son Archie's new California life look like? Well here, New Idea Royals take a peek at what the future holds for the Sussexes. Meghan's acting career. When the Duchess of Sussex joined the royal family, it was assumed she'd permanently return her back on the world of acting. But just days before Meghan and Harry's official exit as senior royals came to a surprise announcement that the former suit star had partnered with Disney to narrate a documentary about elephants. While Meghan donated her free to charity Elephants Without Borders, this was the first sign that she was set to make a return to the world of acting. There hasn't been any confirmation, but there have been plenty of rumours suggesting that she is already considering roles. However, it will have to be something that fits in with her royal status and isn't controversial in any way, but reportedly she was still concerned about making such a movie. Meghan is worried that she won't be taken seriously as an actress, an insider told Daily Mail. She has made it clear to her team that she will only work with A-list directors, but she doesn't understand that this doesn't necessarily mean they will work to work with her. There have also been reports that Meghan is considering relaunching her blog, The Tig, and getting back into writing. Harry's future. It's already been speculated that the prince will likely feel out of place in Los Angeles. Royal author Duncan Larkham points out that he'll be viewed as more of Meghan's plus one. Harry didn't go to university and he hasn't had much work experience other than being in the army and charity work, he said. Being in Hollywood is likely to make him feel like a duck out of water. The Times reported in April that Prince Harry had decided against applying for a green card or US citizenship in the near future. However, this could mean he remains on a diplomatic visa. A new foundation. The couple's new foundation, Artrol, is said to be focus of Meghan and Harry's work and will pick up where the Sussex Foundation left off. They announced in early April that this new venture would be launched once the COVID-19 crisis had settled, explaining, Before Sussex Royal came the idea of Arche, the Greek word meaning source of action. We connected to this concept for the charitable organization we hoped to build one day and it became the inspiration for our son's name. The new home. After Meghan and Harry relocated from Vancouver Island to Los Angeles, speculation mounted about what neighborhood they had chosen. Until 2013, Meghan lived in Hancock Park with her mom, Doria Ragland, lives nearby, View Park, Windsor Hills. But as soon as a source revealed the P to People magazine that the couple were living in a secluded compound in LA, it was assumed that they would be somewhere like Calabasas, which is famed for its gated communities and is home to celebrities like the Kardashians. However, neighborhoods like Brentwood and Beverly Hills also have private streets and communities. It was also reported earlier this year that the royals are considering Malibu. California life. Despite their new life being impacted by COVID-19 crisis, hampering on their arrival on the LA social scene, it seems the one member of the royal family is enjoying himself. A source told People, Archie is teething and is happy baby. I'm sure he is happy to be in California sunshine. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.